Hi everyone, so this is lesson five um, for the binomial stuff, and it's on about linking the binomial to the normal, which you don't really need to do anymore because your calculator does normal for you. But hey ho, here we go. So if you look at this first graph, it goes from zero through to 10, and it's symmetric. Now if it's symmetric, it will have a p-value of 0 0.5. So that, that's how it's defined. Now what you don't know, and it says down here, uh, is because we've not really talked about the average and the variance and the standard deviation. But that mu value of 5 comes from 10 times by 0 0.5, n times by p. Now that's your average, that's your mean, but it's when we make it into a normal distribution, which we've not done yet. The next one is something called the variance. So the variance is 10 times by 0 0.5 times by 0 0.5. It's n times by p times by 1 minus p. And that gives me the 2.5 out. If I square root it, it's a standard deviation, which we've not really done yet either, I don't think. But never mind. Right, so let's have a quick look at this then. So looking at this graph, the 0 0.9 pushes everything over to the right. So everything's gone over there. But you can see that the 7.2 is 8 times 0 0.9. And then that one will be 8 times 0 0.9 times 0 0.1. There. Whew. Let's have a look at this one down here then. So the next one. Similar vein going between 0 and 20, got a p value of 0.6, so everything's slightly pushed over from the 10 going that way. And this one's got a p value of 0.4 for 30 of them, so everything is slightly pushed over from the 15 in the middle, from where it would be symmetric. But you can see that the means and the variances are calculated exactly the same way. There, mean and variance. Right, so let's have a look at this one, this example. So the mean, which is which is mu for the population, x bar for a sample, is just 15 times 0 0.65. So that's going to be 9.75 according to this. And then the variance, the sigma squared value, is 15 times 0 0.65 times by 0 0.35, there, and that gives us 3.41 roughly, the sigma squared. Now your standard deviation, sigma, is the square root of your 3.41. So sigma is roughly 1.83. There we go. One for you to have a go at. So it says 5% of a random, 5% of the mugs produced at a factory of faulty, random sample of 40 mugs, State the mean and the standard deviation. So in many ways, you don't need to do this anymore because your calculator will do all the stuff we need for it. This kind of from the past one, we didn't have that. So there we go. If you wanted to, it'd be quite nice to write it down. as that? There. Right, so a quick look on the next page. <clears throat> so I'm on three, three hours 42. Not three hours, my word. It might feel like it. 3 minutes 42. Right, I'm going to stop it and I'll do another example, okay?